In this lesson we are going to explore a quite innovative feature that is called Search to Insight. With Search to Insight we are able to query data with a natural language interface. The feature is currently available for index models based on acquired data and SAP HANA, S4 HANA and SAP BW Live Data. Search to Insight can be started by clicking on the light bulb right next to the search button. Before we start to ask questions, we can define the models that shall be searched. In our case, I want to search only in the retailer dataset. And now comes the magic. Let's type in show sales and press enter. And immediately a numeric point chart with the sales figure is generated. This figure sums up the whole time period from 2018 to 2020. So let's restrict it to 2020 by writing show sales in 2020. Now I want to drill down sales by the markets. If you want to show values by a specific dimension, all you have to do is type in buy followed by the dimension. You can see that SAC automatically finds an appropriate chart for our query similar to the explorer mode. If we want to ask for a specific dimension member, we have to type in for followed by the member name. In this case, I ask for Japan which is a member of the dimension country. Moreover, it is possible to search for several measures. So we could ask for sales and profits by subcategory in 2020. SAC automatically recognizes two measures and one dimension and generates a scatterplot chart. By the way, instead of the and, you can also separate both measures with a comma. I think you notice that the required language to query data is very natural and easy to learn. For the next example, we choose one measure and two dimensions with market and category. If we are not satisfied with the chart type, we can write the preferred type at the end with the word as followed by the chart type. Instead of static dates, we can also ask for time series by typing in over months in 2020. The same is possible with the word monthly placed before profit. Additionally, we are able to restrict the time frame by writing between August and October or define the specific dates as seen in the recommendations above. Another example is the usage of top or bottom commands. In this case, I ask for top 10 sales by the dimension customer in July 2020. This could be a typical spontaneous question in a management meeting that could be answered instantly, whereas in the past you had to go back to your office and prepare the analysis in Excel and PowerPoint. I'm sure that in your business, different terms are used for one thing. In our case, we could use the word turnover instead of sales, for example. In order to allow other terms, we have to define synonyms in the system settings. Here we define sales as an entity from our model and create turnover as a synonym. After we save the changes, we go back to search to insight and test the new synonym. And as you can see, the term sales is now replaced by turnover. When you are at the beginning of a new dashboard design and do brainstorming with your colleagues, besides the explorer mode, Search to Insight is also a nice tool to come up with great chart ideas. The cool thing is that you can directly copy the generated charts to your story 
or export them as CSVs if someone asks for raw data. That's it. I'm curious how SAP will further develop this tool in future, because in my opinion, it has a lot of potential. If you want to become the SAC expert in your team, then please check out my SAC masterclass on Udemy. Follow the link in the description and thanks for watching this video.